right. My uh, cowboy, one of the things I get after him for, even though he's not much taller than me, he leaps on these things from the ground. <laughs> and I'm going, Kent, this is not the market that I sell my horses into. I need to have them stand next to a mounting block. So that's what Tammy gets to do when they come So back. he kind of <laughs> uses that in the translation. Is your cowboy in California or Canada? Canada. He's about a 40 minute drive from me. Gotcha. He backs all of my horses and he's getting quite a name for himself with a lot of the dressage riders and people who, uh, who ride sport horses in Calgary because he's a really good hand. I'll give you his website. Check it, check him out. Check him out. I love cowboys. I really do. He's a really nice one as far as cowboys go. He's a real family man. He's got three young kids. And he stays at home and, and does all this out of his home so that he can be around his family instead of being out on the rodeo circuit or the, all the other circuits or doing the video, you know, like the Pirelli guys and so on. That yeah. Doing the big Pirelli yeah. clinics and stuff. I've been to that those headquarters in Pugosa Springs. It's kind of a, it's, it's an interesting place. Mm-hmm. But Kent just prefers to stay home. Yeah, I don't blame him. And be with his family instead of being on the road. He does a little bit of clinicking in Nebraska. He's managed to befriend the hunter-jumper instructor there. And so he gets to go down to Nebraska. Um, especially when she trips. <laughs> um, let's see. Looks okay, G. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't see anything. I didn't feel anything. She okay? Yeah, she looks okay. We just looked at his videos and cutting an extra video so they can each take a copy home. Um, if there's time, I think, because you never know. Yeah. Um, if we could turn, maybe turn out or put them in the round pen, your two little ones. Oh, sure. Yeah, they get turned out here. They get turned, yeah, out, they here. Get turned out here all the time. This okay. Is, this, is their, uh, this is their play pen. Okay. Just so we can see how they go. She did look a little funny more on the left there than the right, Gina. If we put the that cover pretty near to the bird it is. then the horses will avoid it. Actually what we can do is put the three barrels kind of as a triangle around them. Yeah, that might work too. Yeah. Well, then we'll stay away from it. You Pirelli with your horses how you teach them game, how to knock things over? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> well, without the middle, they do tend to stay more around the edges. They, they want to eat the grass and stuff. They're kind of pushing on the fence we put up over there where it's tied. Good. Put a little post in. Uh, well, we, we need to tighten up a little. Yeah. There's the bird right there. They're like a the sandpiper. They killed her. Somehow they survived. They've only got one trick though, and that's just to distract potential predators from their ground laid eggs. <laughs> you want my spurs? Uh, mostly it's just getting getting her, um, ask her to go a little bit slower first in the trot and then just put your outside leg back and, and touch her. 
If you want, come off of a corner, doing it through a corner. But just slow the trot first, and then come forward to the canter, outside leg back. There you go. I think I usually do like a Okay. Yeah, she probably hasn't had a lot of that yet. Like, this mare's had less than 60 days on her. And a little bit like, you know, she starts to tunnel down. Right. And that's where Willie was saying, that's when you do your yeah. transitions and shift your back and then ask again and blah, blah, blah. She, she just, uh, again, not, not that strong yet. And he would sometimes, he, I saw him lift the reins up a bit too. Right. Just, to help, a just to help pick her up. Yeah. And then, and of course, kick her at the same time or squeeze. <laughs> Of course, Willie's like me. He always has spurs on, and uh, he's the one thing I've the one thing I found in my lessons with him. Like he demands that the horses have a response right bloody now. Nice. Give her a tap with the whip when she carries like that too. Yeah. with a fence out in front of her because right. I think a lot of them they just the, the dressage is kind of boring for them and then you put a fence out in front of them and they start to pick themselves up a bit she is bred to jump by both both of her parents I mean the, her mom I took eventing um, and I only got 